So if you guys, hi everybody. If you can hear me, can you give me a wave? Give me a thumbs up. Let's see. Over here. All right. All right. Let's see. Yes, so y'all can hear me on Facebook. Perfect. Now, I am trying to get this on Instagram. Hi. So if anybody on Facebook, if I'm not doing this right on Instagram, let me see. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Now I'm good to go. All right, Instagram, if you guys could comment and give me a thumbs up that you guys can hear me, then we're going to get rolling soon. Perfect. Audio's good. Awesome. Good deal. All right, so welcome, everybody. Um, we will get started here in about three-ish minutes or so. But for right now, my name is Natalie. I am one of the Spinga Master Instructors who will be taking you guys through a workout today. So welcome everybody nationwide. Um, it's really exciting to be able to broadcast this through everybody, which I'm usually only in my hometown of Houston, Texas, um, in the Woodlands and Montrose. Those are my homes um, here in Houston. We have one in Tanglewood coming up, which is a memorial area. So if you are in pre-sales, Tanglewood, or if you're in pre-sales amongst the whole nation right now, um, please note that what you will be seeing today is not our typical workout. Um, usually our workout is 20 minutes of spin, 20 minutes of strength and 20 minutes of yoga. So you get three pillars of fitness, cardio strength and flexibility all in one workout in 60 minutes, which is why we say this really is the best workout ever. Um, so whenever a studio is opening up near you soon, hopefully in the next few weeks, go snag a class. Um, but for now, in the next coming weeks, what you will be seeing for our workouts is gonna be similar to what I'm gonna be doing today. All right, hi everybody, I miss y'all so much. Oh, this makes my day. So, <laughs> virtual interaction, this is the best thing that's happened to me in a few weeks. So, for all of you guys, what you will need today, if you're just now tuning in, my name's Natalie, um, I'm gonna be with you for about the next 30 minutes. So, a couple things you can grab. First, if you have a set of weights, these are great. So, if you are, have access to weights, a set of medium weights and a set of heavy weights will be perfect. Um, if you do not, no worries. If you have two gallon jugs, these weigh about nine pounds. We'll be doing some biceps and some lower body, so this is perfect. If you have any Tide laundry detergent, those are good options as well. If you have a backpack, you can fill it up with a bunch of stuff and put it behind your back. I will cue you when to do this, all right? So you don't have to worry about when to use what equipment, I will tell you. If you have absolutely nothing, don't worry about it as well. I will give you guys options. Hi, oh, all my Woodlands people. I see a lot of people from Sugarland. I see people from Mokina, awesome, the OG studio. Welcome everybody, all right. So we're gonna get started in about 30 seconds. So what you will need, if you have a medium set of weights, awesome, if you have a heavy set, awesome, grab them. If not, get whatever you have. If you just have water bottles or wine bottles, awesome, maybe bubble wrap them so you don't break them because you probably will need them over the next few weeks. Um, if you have a mat, if you don't have access to carpet and you have a mat, go ahead and grab that as well, all right? So we have total body workout today. So the theme today is supersetting. So the purpose of supersetting is to challenge the muscle fibers in two different ways. So it's great for building strength and it requires a lot of energy. So if you didn't have your coffee, you may wanna chug it now. If you didn't have your pre-workout, you may wanna chug that now as well. Um, play your own music if you want. You can follow us on Spotify. So my personal account is N-S-A-H-E-E. -E. Go follow any of those playlists. They're all bangers, okay? So you guys ready to get started? It's 10 o'clock. All right, so we're going to be going for about 25 straight minutes or so. I miss you guys so much. Thank you all so much for chiming in, all right? I'm going to give you guys a great start to your Monday. So let's get going. No weights first, all right? So since we are doing total body today, we're going to warm up the total body. So... Start out, guys, feet about hip distance apart, about a three to five minute warm up here. Feet hip distance apart and give me some body weight squats. So in a body weight squat, you're pressing through your heels. 
So I'm going to face you sideways, knees above the toes, up and squeeze the glutes. Come down, up, squeeze. But when we squeeze the glutes at the top, make sure we don't thrust our hips forward. So I want you to thrust your hips up and drive your glutes up, all right? Keep your chest lifted, up and squeeze. Down, up and squeeze. Down, up and squeeze. So in a bodyweight squat, we're activating the quads, we're activating the glutes, and we're also activating that core. So zipping up that core a little bit here. So keep it going, you guys. Down, up and squeeze. Down, up and squeeze. Down, up and squeeze. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you guys, so reverse lunge, step back with that left leg, up and knee drive and down. Alternate, step back, knee drive, down. Back, knee drive, down. Back, knee drive, down. Alternate and pump those arms here to get them moving as well. So you can alternate those arms, whatever you need to do to get that heart rate up. Keep your knee above your toes, up and down, back, up and down. Knee above the toe, drop that back knee down so you guys keep moving while I demonstrate what I'm talking about. So knee drive, drive bring that back knee down, press through your heel and come down. Drop it down, up and alternate, down, up. Good, pump the arms, keep your chest lifted. All right, you guys, perfect. We got eight, seven, six, five. Give me four, three. Hey, you guys, two and one. Give me jumping jacks. So light on the toes. Let's get that heart rate up a little bit more here. Extend those arms. There we go. Quick feet, quick feet. If we're not jumping today, then I want you just to step it out. Out, 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 out. Out, good job. 20 more here. Keep your head above your hearts. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, hit the deck. Come into a plank here. Widen your hands, wider than your shoulders. Drop your knees down to the ground. All right, so let's warm up with some knee push-ups. So make sure our knees are not underneath the hips. Push them back. Come wide and up. So really squeeze the glutes. Come up, wide and up. Wide and up, wide and up. Nice. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now, if you're feeling it, lift those knees up. Wide and up, wide and up, wide and up. Five, give me four, and three, two, and one. Take it up, you guys. All right, next, come up, jumping jacks one more time here. Lie on the toes, keep that heart rate up. Remember, we're warming up the total body because we're doing total body for this workout. All right, come up, quick, quick. So in a second, I'm gonna make you hit the deck again, but this time we have hip thrusters, all right? So stay light on the toes, remember that option. Step it out, step it in, step it out, step it in. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Drop down, come into a plank and thrust. Back, thrust, back, thrust. Option, walk it up, walk it out. Walk it up, walk it out. If not, tap it in, tap it out. Keep your weight forward, shoulders right on top of the wrist. We got five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. Whoo, are we warm? Nice. All right, you guys, so go ahead, grab some water. I'm gonna fix something real fast, and then we are gonna get started here. All right, so grab, grab some water, and here we go. All right, so my timer wasn't starting, so I'm gonna resume it. All right, you guys, are we nice and warm? Perfect. Let's get going. So for your first set, this is what we're doing. So supersetting, how this is gonna work. Two minutes of work followed by a one minute recovery. We have four sets, all right? Two minutes of work, one minute recovery. So your muscles will get absolutely exhausted. That's why this is gonna be quite short, okay? So for your first set option, grab your backpack, place it around your back if that's what you have. If not, Grab your weights, 
hang them. If you don't have those, grab those dumbbells, all right? Dumbbells or some jugs, wine bottles, whatever you got, all right? So first exercise, come down. We have lunges. So for lunges, for the first 15 seconds, we're dropping that back knee and come up. Drop the back knee, give me medium pace on these lunges. Shoulders right on top of the hips, all right? Then for 45 seconds, we're slowing it down. So down for five, four, three, two, one, up, three, two, one. That's gonna be the pace for one minute with that left leg forward, and then one minute step back, right leg forward. Then we have a one minute recovery, all right? So grab those weights. Here we go, you guys. We're getting started here in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Step that right leg back. Roll the shoulders back and down, chest lifted. Press through your front heel, knee above the toe. Zip up that core, drop that back knee. Zip up that core and drop that back knee. We have less than 10. Here we go, you guys. So we're about to slow down that pace in four, in three, in two, and one. Slow it down, down, and slowly come up. Slow it down, we're here for 45 seconds. Slowly come up. Slow it down and come up. Slow it down and come up. Slow it down and come up. So remember guys, knees above the toes, roll the shoulder back, slow and controlled. That front quad should be on fire. Activate that left glute, slowly come down, slowly come up, slowly come down, slowly come up. We got 15 seconds right here, you guys. 15 seconds in five, in four, in three, two, and one. Switch it. Let's go. Switch legs. Right leg forward. Regular pace. Down and up. Down and up. So it's kind of similar to a pulse. Just medium pace here. Drop that back knee. Shoulders are nice and tall. Option. Drop the weights if we need to. Drop the weights if we need to here. And hold. In three, two, and one. Slow it down. All the way down. All the way up. All the way down. All the way up. All the way down. All the way up. Press through that front heel. Really squeeze that right glute. Come all the way up. Drop all the way down. All the way up. Good job, you guys. Keep it going here. Keep it going. We're almost there. Nice. It's about 20 seconds. Down and up. Down and up. Yep, those quads are absolutely on fire. Guess what, guys? You got a one minute recovery coming up here. One minute recovery coming up here. 10 seconds on that clock. We got five in four, in three, two, and one. Rest, drop the weights. Whew, good job, round one's done. Set one. Next, you may grab a one gallon jug, make sure it's filled. If not, that's cheating, um, or you may grab a weight, all right? Heavy weight, next exercise, squat and press. Squat, press, squat, press. So press through your heels, up and squeeze your glutes at the top. So guys, remember when we squat, you should be able to wiggle your toes as you come down. Press through those heels, knees above the toes, and then really drive those glutes up and send that heavy weight up to the top, all right? You may use a backpack on your back for extra weight as this as well, okay? Down and up. Then, on my cue, after 15 seconds, for 45 seconds, squat down and hold. Drop the weight, send your arms out, and give me tiny, I'll step back a little bit so you can see me, tiny, tiny rotations in the arms. All right, so this will activate the shoulders just like the squat to press it. So arms out and I will cue you when to switch, all right? And whenever I say get low, I know I can't see you, but you better drop that booty down, all right? Here we go, Sphinga, get ready. In four, squat to press, 15 seconds, two, and one. Let's go, squat, press, squat, press. Make it quick, keep your chest lifted. Down, up, down up, drive those glutes up to the ceiling, down and squeeze. Hey guys, we're slowing it down here in three, in two, and one, drop that weight, arms out, Woo! Tiny circles, I don't want big, tiny, tiny circles. The weight's in the heels. If you're arching your back, you probably have some lower back pain. Tuck in the glutes. Tiny, tiny circles. There we go, you guys. Hold it. We got 25 seconds. Now, Reverse, reverse those tiny circles here. Reverse the tiny circles. Hold, 
15 seconds. 15 seconds, and we're repeating this again for our second minute, all right? Repeating this again for our second minute. Hang on to it, Sphinga. We got four. In three, grab that weight. In two, and one, grab it. Back to the squat to press. Squat, press, squat, press, squat, press. Come on. 15 seconds right here. 10 seconds left. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Nice. Press through those heels. Squeeze those glutes. In three, two, and one. Drop the weight. Arms out. Whoo! Tiny circles. I'll scoot back so you can see me. Tiny, tiny circles. Keep your chest lifted. Tuck in the pelvic floor. Keep that core nice and tight. So if all of you were in my class right now, I would be walking around and I'd be pointing out, get lower, get lower, get lower. Drop that booty lower to that floor. And reverse those circles. Reverse those circles, everybody. 15 seconds, hold it. Hold it, tuck in the pelvic floor, squeeze the glutes. We're almost there, Sphinga. Coming up on five. Let's go for four, for three, two, and one. Whoo, good job, rest. Third set, all right? So next, two heavy weights. Heavy, 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 or use your gallon jugs, all right? So roll the shoulders back, feet hip distance apart. Push your hips back for a deadlift, keep your chin up, up and squeeze, then give me a curl. I'll do it from this way. Hinge at your hips, so stick your butt out. Keep your chin up so that we're not rounding your spine. Push your butt back up, squeeze, and curl. I don't care how many reps you get in. I just care if you're doing it correctly, all right? Option, if you don't have any weight, give me a single leg deadlift, up, and balance. Single leg, 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left, I will cue you in to switch. Then, I will need you guys to grab a heavy weight. Come down for glute bridges, all right? Up, squeeze and down, up, squeeze, and down. After 30 seconds, I will tell you, up and squeeze, and I want you to hold it up at the top as hard as you can for 30 seconds. All right, you guys ready? Here we go, everybody. Deadlift to curl in three, two, and one. Grab them, let's go. Push your hips back, up, squeeze, and curl. Push your hips back, all the weight goes in the heels of your feet, up and squeeze. Back, so working the hamstrings on the way down, Working the gluten hamstrings on the way up. Remember, keep your chin up. Chin stays up, back is flat as we send our hips back. All right, your knees should naturally bend. Keep those elbows close to your side and curl. Push your hips back, thrust your hips up to the sky and curl. Push your hips back, we're here for 30 seconds. Remember guys, I don't care how many reps you get in, I care if you're doing them correctly. So if we need to slow them down, slow them down. Just go as heavy as your body will allow here. Here we go, you guys, we're here at 15 seconds. Push your hips back up squeeze and then curl hips back up squeeze and curl hips back up squeeze and curl all right guys we got glute bridges here grab that one weight in four keep working for three two and one drop it down Sphinga. let's go heels underneath the knees feet hip distance apart up and squeeze and come down up squeeze come down up squeeze come down up squeeze and down up and down, squeeze as hard as you can up at the top, and down, up, and then down, up, and down. Less than 10 seconds, and we're holding it up at the top, crew. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now drive those hips up, and I want you to contract your glutes as hard as you possibly can. Imagine there's a rope tied around your hips, okay? Imagine there's a rope, and someone's yanking you up to the ceiling, or to the sky, wherever you are today, and you're holding it as hard as you possibly can. Don't let go, you guys. 15 seconds on that clock. 15 seconds on that clock, then we got a one minute recovery. Hang on to it, hang on to it. For four, for three, two, and one, drop it. Whew, you can actually stay on the ground, all right? So next, your next two exercises. Make sure you can hear me. Perfect. Next two exercises. We have weighted pullovers, so we got a little bit of ab work here. So option, weight, or you can use your gallon jug. So we're extending all the way out, all right? Come up, meet your toes and your hands, crunch and slowly come down. Up, crunch and come down. Any lower back pain, go about 45 degrees. Any lower back pain, you have the option. Drop the weight, that's perfectly fine. All the way out, up, add in a crunch or just meet your hands to your toes. Other option, hands underneath your hips, up, 
and come down. So there's a lot of options here for you guys to play with, all right? Second exercise, forearm plank. Come down to your forearm, shoulders on top of your elbows. Really squeeze your glutes, flat back, neck in line with your spine. At 30 seconds, I will cue you to come up, up, and then down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Option, just hold a high plank. All right, here we go, swing it in three, two, and one, let's go. So weighted pullovers, reach all the way out, up, and crunch, all the way out, up, and crunch, all the way out, lengthen, up, and crunch, all the way out, and crunch, all the way out, and crunch. So those feet need to come about an inch above the floor. If you hit the bottom, if you hit the bottom, then those feet need to bounce right back up. So they should tap and come back up. No resting at the bottom. Bring it all the way up and down, crew. You got it. In three, two, and one. Give me a forearm plank. Let's go. Shoulders right on top of those elbows. Squeeze the glutes. Shift your weight forward so I don't want any hips up in the air. So drop those hips. Keep your neck in line with your spine. Activate the glutes. A lot of you too right now. And my Woodlands and Montrose crew know Rip the hands, set them down. No interlacing the fingers. Drop them down, you guys. Here we go, Spinga, keep holding. I need plank up downs in three, two, and one. Push through that left hand, up, up, down, down. Alternate which hand presses you up. And when we press up, press, make sure the palm of your hand is underneath your shoulder to come up, up, and then down, down. Up, up, down, down. Try to eliminate the rocking in the hips. So really squeeze the glutes here. Really squeeze the glutes. Here we go, in three. Two and one, we're resting. All right, so we are repeating that all over again. All right, we're repeating that all over again, but this time we are doing it with 30 second increments of rest time, all right? So here we go. We got less than 10 seconds. Grab those weights, we got lunges. Lunges, let's go, Spinga, in three, two, and one. Drop that left leg and pulse, pulse. Medium pace, medium pace. Remember, two minutes of work, now it's a 30 second recovery. Repeating all of this over again. Good. Here we go, you guys. Slow it down in four, three, two, and one. Woo! Come up and down for four, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Down, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Up, three, two, one. Down, three, two, one. So those muscles are very fatigued right now. If you're sweating, if you are in absolute agony in a good way, then good, that means it's working. Remember, you always have the option of dropping those dumbbells. Give me 15 seconds, crew, come on, you got it. All the way down, come all the way up, drop that back knee. Shoulders are stacked right on top of those hips, finger. Here we go, we are switching sides in five, in four, let's go in three, two, and one, switch it, come on. Roll those shoulders back, drop that back knee, press through your heel, up, Come at the top, down and up. So regular pace, regular pace, regular pace crew. Good job, keep it going. Here we go, Spinga, slow it down. Three, two, and one, slow it down. I'm gonna face this way so you guys can see me. Down and up. So a lot of people, you guys keep going. When they lunge, they tend to go forward, all right? So the way to prevent that is drop that back knee. Press through the heel, come up. Drop the back knee, zip up that core, up. Option, guys, you always have the option of dropping those weights. Here we go. We're almost there, Spinga. Almost there, slow it down, slow it down, down. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one. 10 seconds, crew, up. Three, two, one, give me one more, down. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, and rest. 30 second rest, remember? So shake it out. You may grab that heavy backpack, put it on your back. We got squats or presses. All right, so extra challenge. I'll even do it with you guys. Extra challenge, grab that backpack. Here we go, crew. Grab the backpack, grab the weight, whatever you need. Squats or presses, less than 10 seconds. Shake it out, breathe, grab some water if you, might, if you would need to. In three, two, and one, squat, press press down up 15 
15 seconds right here, remember? Then we're slowing it down and holding that squat, making tiny circles with our arms. Hold it for five. Come on, drop it down in three, two, one. Squat, hold, arms out. Whoo! I'll scoot back so you can see my tiny circles. Tiny, tiny circles, crew. Breathe. Chest up, drop your hips down, knees right on top of the toes. Tiny, tiny circles to activate the top of the shoulder. Here we go. Reverse the circle with your arms. Let's go. Reverse it, tiny, tiny, tiny. Hey, guess what? Hey, Spinga nationwide, get lower. Hold it. Hey, I'm right there with you guys. I'm right there with you guys, hang on to it. Good news is this is the last time you have to do this. Last time, last time, Spinga, in four, three, two, and one. Whoo, good job. Guess what? We got set two. Grab that weight, let's go. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Come on, press through your heels. 15 seconds right here. 15 seconds right here, three, two, one. Drop it, arms out, tiny circles. Tiny, tiny circles. Tiny, tiny circles. There we go, drop that booty down. Hey, if you need to let go of your weight, if you need to let go of that backpack, just drop it, all right? Hang in there. So reverse those circles in three, two, and one, reverse. Roll the shoulders back, keep your chest up, get low. So your glutes, your right where your glute and hamstring connect, that should be on absolute fire right now, including those quads. We're almost there, crew. Give me 10 seconds, drop it low. Drop it low. In three. Hang in there. In two. And one. Rest. 30 second rest. Hey, grab your dumbbells, not your backpack. Remember, next guys, deadlift, up, and curl. Push your butt back, up, and curl. Option. You, if you have no weights, remember, switch, come up, and balance, and come back up. 30 seconds, switch sides. Remember guys, in that second exercise, back to the deadlifts, or sorry, back to the glute bridges, press through your heels. Here we go. Guys, get ready in three, two, and one. One minute right here. So we're here for one minute, back, up, and curl. Push your hips back, up, squeeze the glutes, and give me a curl. Chin up, prevents from rounding the spine. Flat back, so push that booty back, back, back to the wall behind you. Good, up and curl. Push your hips back, flat back, hinge at the hips. This is hinging at the hips. This is not hinging at the hips. Hey, if you're doing the single leg deadlift, switch in three, two, and one. Now switch sides. Up, come up, and balance. Option, just drop that toe. All right, back, up, come up. Keep going with the deadlift to curl, you guys. So this is your workout. I wish I could see you, but I can't. Keep pushing, you guys. Push through it. We got 15 seconds right here. 15 seconds, so we're going to glute bridges. Back, up, and give me a curl. Option, alternate with that curl. Push your hips back. Up, squeeze the glutes up at the top, and give me a curl. Hey, drop down for the glute bridges in three, two, and one. Take it down, let's go. So your heels are directly underneath your knees. Hip distance apart. Up, squeeze the glutes and down, up and down. Do not drop your hips down until you contract your glute all the way, all right? Remember, I don't care how many reps you get in, I care if you're feeling them in the correct spots. So right now, it's all in the glutes here. Up, squeeze, come down, up, squeeze, come down, up, squeeze, and down. Hey guys, we're holding it up at the top in three, two, and one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Keep that weight if your body allows. Remember guys, imagine someone's yanking you up, up at the top. Right now's the time where you feel like probably giving up and you're exhausted. I need you to keep pushing, let's go. Mind over matter here, I tell all my crews, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's the only way that your body will see change. It all starts in the mind. Here we go everybody. Release in three, two, and one, drop it. You got a 30 second break. All right everybody, now this is your final round. Final set here. We have the weighted pullovers, and then we're ending with the planks and the plank up-downs. Remember in the planks, for any reason, this gets a little too intense. If you wanna keep activating those shoulders, just hold a high plank. Option, just sit there and for one minute total, hold a forearm plank. Here we go, guys. Weighted pullovers, or if we need to drop the weight for any lower back pain, go ahead and mix the weight. In three, two, and one. Let's go, crew. 
two minutes of work, and then we're done here. Lengthen all the way out, up, and crunch. Lengthen all the way out, up, and crunch. All the way out, slow and controlled. Slow on the way down, slow on the way up. I want you to envision every single one of your abs contracting in this exercise, all right? All the way down and all the way back up. All the way down, all the way back up. You got 30 seconds. Really lengthen your arms. If you're holding a weight and your arms are tending to, your elbows are tending to bend, then I want you to drop it. Reach, 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 reach up and crunch. Reach, reach, reach up and crunch. 20 seconds, screw. Come on, all the way out, up and crunch. All the way out. Option, come 45 degrees if you have any lower back pain, just like so. All right, all the way out. Here we go, everybody. Less than 10 seconds. Four and plank in five. Give me a few more here. In three, two, one more crunch. Ah, and one. Drop the weight. Roll over. Let's go. Hold the forearm plank. Feet about hip distance apart. Hands flat on the ground. Hands flat on the ground, everybody. I can't see you, so I need honesty here. Hands flat. No interlacing those fingers, or you can hold them just like so. All right. Keep your booty down. Shift your weight forward. Here we go, guys. Less than 10 seconds, and we got plank up downs. Or hold a high plank in four, in three, two, and one. Last 30 seconds. Up, up, down, down. Alternate which hand presses you up. Press directly underneath that shoulder and come down. Really squeeze the glutes. So I want your whole body to fall down, your whole body to fall up. Really try to prevent the rocking in the hips here. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Squeeze the glutes as hard as you can still. All right? Up, up. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Hey, everybody, keep going. We got five. In four, in three, two, and one. Drop it. You guys are done. Hey, everybody, if you tuned in late, my name's Natalie. I'm actually dripping in sweat, so I know you guys are. Um, thank you so much for tuning in today. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to Spinga Nation. And everybody, just hang in there. We're going to get through all this. All right, so stay positive. Good vibes always. Change your perspective. We got this, everybody. Again, my name's Natalie. I'm one of the master instructors for Spinga. Um, thank you all, my people that tuned in. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope to catch you guys later on, all right? So tune in to the next week's workouts. Um, we got some tomorrow coming up every single day. So check mind body, all right? Thank you guys so much. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.